Tonight, three people injured in separate dog attacks. Exclusive, a teacher charged over child-related criminal offences. Kangaroos darted and tracked by GPS. And a hero's welcome home for our Commonwealth Games stars. Live from the Sunshine Coast with Joanne Desmond, this is 7 Local News. Good evening, thanks for joining us. It's been another shocking day of dog attacks on the Sunshine Coast with two elderly men and a woman injured in separate incidents. An 81-year-old man is expected to undergo emergency surgery after a German shepherd mauled his leg at Little Mountain. Staff from a nearby workshop rushed to help the elderly man who was attacked by the dog on his morning walk. And in breaking news, a boy has reportedly been attacked by a Rottweiler at Kalula Cove. Paramedics were called to a house in Canimbla Avenue just before 5pm. The six-year-old boy is being treated for a bite wound to his leg. A local teacher has appeared in court charged with historical child-related criminal offences. It's one of two unrelated cases being investigated by the Sunshine Coast Child Protection Unit, allegedly involving private school staff and former students. The senior school teacher, who Seven Local News has chosen not to name, faced court on Monday, charged with six counts of indecent treatment. Dozens of people are at Marucci RSL to welcome home our local Commonwealth Games athletes. Luke McGarry is there and filed this report a short time ago. Joe, there's little more that makes us Aussies proud than a sporting victory. And behind me, there's been a chorus of community sport for our local heroes who did us proud in Glasgow. I think it's the weather up here. You, you breed champions. I'm very proud because they made our, they made our, um, cunt, they made our. Joe. All right, thanks for that, Luke. Luke McGarry with that report. Ahead tonight, a Sunshine Coast director prepares to show his first film. And Australia's Zoo, Australia Zoo welcomes another baby giraffe. You're watching 7 Local News. A locally made short film, The Dead Bird, will be shown for the first time on the Sunshine Coast. Set on a rural 60-acre property in Caloundra, it follows the story of two brothers, a violent father and a mysterious girl in the forest. First-time film director Damien Overton says he hopes it will be the beginning of a local thriving film industry. It's small but it's starting to take off. I think uh, the Gold Coast is so big with the film stuff they do down there. I think um, Sunshine Coast seems to be kind of the next, I think, logical step. The film will air tomorrow at 5pm at Caloundra Event Cinema. For tickets, head to the Dead Bird page on Facebook. GPS tracking devices are being used to learn more about the declining number of kangaroos around Sunshine Coast University. Six Eastern Greys have been fitted with a collar device as part of the research project. At 6am, vets armed with a tranquilizer gun took aim on the ruse spread across the oval. Once darted, the kangaroos were transported by car and carefully carried to a marquee. Experts examined the animals with a stethoscope. Be Sports up next with Nate, who has more on the reception for our Commonwealth Games athletes. Yeah, look, Joe, we'll catch up with one of our swimmers who battled serious illness just to make it to Glasgow. We'll have more next, and it's the business end of the footy season. Finals begin in local leagues, Caloundra RSL Cup. You're watching 7 Local News. It's the business end of Local League's Caloundra RSL Cup with week one of the finals starting tomorrow. The season will end for either Nambour or Noosa Gympie while Caloundra gets first crack at the Premiers. After going through most of the regular season undefeated, Kawana lost two of their final three games, while Alex Forrest, Jordan Meads and Jason Wardrop are just some of the big names out of action. He'd probably pick out oh, six to eight guys uh, who are sort of... Sport is such a huge thing in Australia. And no doubt we'll uh, see a strong Australian uh, swimming team at, at Rio. The whole team is uh, coming together and, yeah, I'm really excited for the years to come. Well, you heard it here first. Watch out for the Aussie girls in Rio, particularly the ones here from the Sunshine Coast. Nathan? Yeah, spot on, Luke. They're all champions, Joe. It's great to have them home. Some big goals ahead. Thanks yeah. for that, Nate. Stay with us after the break. Livio has all the latest on the weather and Robbie Sherwell has our surf report.
Well, good evening, folks. Livia Regano with tonight's weather. Queensland's been split into two halves since the start of this week. Windy in the north with a peppering of light showers, mainly fine on the Sunshine Coast with a much more mellow breeze. By next week, the whole state's due for another windy, showery change. Temperatures today only 21 degrees at Tawantan. Nambour had 22, an overnight minimum of 6 degrees at the airport with a top of 22. Mullaney had 19 and the lowest overnight was Gympie as always, a bottom of 3 and a top of about 23. On the satellite loop, still very quiet, has been for several weeks. A um, little bit of shower activity in the tropical north. Down the rest of the coast, there have been light ones. I don't know of any that occurred around the southeast coast today, but certainly looking at the rainfalls, they're all less than a couple of millimetres. On the chart today, we've got uh, the same high pressure belt that's sitting over southern Australia. It's a little bit further south than you normally expect at this time of year, but still a fairly sort of intermediate winter position. You can see around here the isobars are getting quite far apart, so the winds are dropping around about 15 to 20 knots today, and they're still going down. On tomorrow's chart, certainly more of a 10 to 15 knot situation here, where the highs are getting a little bit weak. There's a pair of them there. They start to move out to sea, but quickly as you go north, you'll see they're still in strong wind morning over tropical water if you're, if you're thinking of heading out there for the weekend. On the Outlook chart, it, starts to get, it gets interesting in the start of next week. I haven't drawn this front end, but by Monday, it'll come awfully close to us. And certainly on Tuesday, winds will spring up again. Might get a little bit of shower activity as well. Now, the latest from the Weather Bureau. The boating forecast for Sunshine Coast waters, just 10 to 15 knots south southeast at least tomorrow, easing even further on Sunday, before strengthening once again to reach 25 knots offshore by Monday evening. Tomorrow's low tide falls conveniently during siesta time in the early afternoon. So if you fall asleep on the beach, you won't get taken by a rogue wave. Southeast Coast District, partly cloudy tomorrow, but mainly fine with just the outside chance of a shower. Mullaney, 19 degrees. Maroochydore, 9 to 22. Nambour, 21. Gimby, 6 to 22. And looking ahead for the Sunshine Coast, increasing chance of rain from next Tuesday with a slight drop in temperature as winds start to pick up again. Minimum temps around 9 or 10 degrees every night. This photo was taken over Point Vernon a couple of Fridays ago. High-level cloud comes in all shapes and sizes, but it's always made of pure ice, and the streaky formations arise from strong upper atmospheric winds shredding the clouds apart. Thanks, John Heron, for that nice picture. Have a splendid weekend, everybody. Now it's time for our weekly surf report with the legendary Robbie Sherwell. Thanks, Livio. Well, there's actually been dangerous surf conditions up and down our coast beaches this week. The surf hasn't been huge, but there's been plenty of strong currents around with flash rips thanks to the strong southerly wind we had all week long. Now, that wind has backed off, and the swell has backed off a little bit for the weekend as well. It looks like a pretty nice weekend coming up across the coast beaches. Every beach up and down the coast will be open if you're after a swim. That water's still sitting between 19 and 20 degrees. Please, as always, keep an eye on your positioning and only swim between the red and yellow flags. If you're looking for a surf, looks like there's still going to be around that three-quarter metre plus of swell up and down our coastline. Lighter southwesters in the morning, swinging southeasterly tomorrow afternoon, but on Sunday it looks like it's going to swing right round to the east-northeast by the afternoon. Now, with that in mind, the open beach is going to have a few little waves early, particularly up between Perigian and Sunshine. It's going to be the biggest. Also worth checking the lower end of the Kiwana stretch down around Karamundi. During the afternoon, it's also going to be worth checking places like Maroochydore, Coolum through to Stumas and the southern corner of Alexander Bay. I hope you have a great weekend across the coast beaches. All right, thanks for that, Robbie. And that is Seven Local News for this Friday. Thanks very much for your company and have a fantastic weekend. Good night.